I was talking to one of my friends mm -hmm. yesterday and she brought up that she was very angry about people trying to make everyday, our everyday childhood things gender neutral. For example, Santa Claus. They are talking about making Santa either a woman or gender neutral. I think that's ridiculous because... That's what Mrs. Claus is for. Yes, yeah, say, exactly. Yeah, Mrs. That is Mrs. Claus, yep. But then not only that... And though, all the elves. You don't know yeah, what fucking gender elves they, are. They are gender neutral as far as I'm concerned. They so, have a Ken patch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, elves, just elves. a flat just patch. Flat. Yeah. But then not only that, though, like Santa Claus, okay, sure, big deal, whatever, but it's a fictional pe a fictional character. Sorry, guys. Based off, a, based off of a real male Norwegian yeah. character. But ultimately not a real person, at least not yeah. anymore, right? Not only that, though, but nursery rhymes. You remember the nursery rhymes we got, used to get told when we were kids? Black sheep. Blah, blah, and black, blah, sheep. black sheep. And all those really good ones that we look back now and we think, oh, we were so cute back then. They're all talking about making it all gender neutral. Or, uh, or uh, racial in a sense. Ra I, I, like, but a lot of it I never really, like, as a kid growing up, I never thought of it no. as racial driven or sexism driven. No, dri we like, never did. Driven. Like, when was... you're a kid, you just see it as something cool that you say. It's a fun fucking story. It's, it's cool. You, you tell it to your friends at a freaking play group or something, you know what I mean? Why are you looking at me, Ben? Yeah, I mean, a blackboard. Oh, you're staring the shit out of me. Because it's a board that's black. Yes. Not because it's, of it's any racial reasons. African-American blackboard. Like, what's... They, it's an African-American board, guys. That's why it's called a blackboard. Didn't, they like, didn't invent it, actually. So, like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. And there are actual sheep with uh, black, black, black wool. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, uh, what, what, what was the plan for those black sheep? The, the sheep with the... Um, you know, darker tone of. I think they called it uh, Barbar bar, 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 bar Rainbow like, Sheep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what they Something changed like it to. That. Yeah. But that actually happened like while we were in high school. And honestly, I think that was like the start of what we're dealing with now. Yeah, it's yeah. just social and justice just worries. 10 years later. Getting almost. worse. Yeah, yeah, like what are we? Seven years down the track since we graduated high school. Yeah, but like the Rainbow Sheep thing happened probably when we were mid high school, I think. I remember. Oh, that long ago? I yeah. guess I was just not. But but I feel like it's gotten worse over Maybe. the last couple of years. I th I, th I definitely think that the intentions might be in the right place. Yeah, the intentions are in the right but place, but the avenues to which uh, that it's going about is definitely not uh, not terrible. But it's also probably not the best way. Like what what does that help changing one word? Yeah, in the nursery, right? it, yeah. kids not, don't. It's not promoting violence. Nope. It's not promoting sexual violence. It's not promoting sexual fantasies. It's just purely, I want black wool because I like to sew it, knit it together, and I want a black sweater. Yeah, it's not. But a it's not about black wool. It was like about a, a sheep with black complexion. That's why it's called a black sheep. Like the wool's still white. No, no, no. Pretty sure no. it was, uh, it was called it was a black sheep. Black sheep. It was a black, black wool sheep. Really? Sheep. Yeah. 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 Oh, man, I didn't really pay much attention. Because it, it, really it, it was special or something. It was like that, ooh, it's a special black wool sheep. Is that what it was about? No, it was just no? literally, it's just a nursery rhyme. It was like yeah, Barbar 2006, Barbar Bar Bar Rainbow Sheep. Yeah. This yeah. is like Jeez, the earliest article I can find. But you can get sheep with black wool. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. But you can't get sheep but with I, rainbow wool. My, so my, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> I feel ripped off. I <laughs> Where's my rainbow sheep? <laughs> <laughs> but see, I don't feel like it's going to change anything it's no. a, but not, by calling it bar bar rainbow sheep it's not going to change how people turn out they're making it as if it like it's changing all of society and it's like no well, and no. plus changing a lot of this stuff can actually cause more of a stigmatization exactly. towards it because you're placing it as like a taboo thing and mm. if there's anything that being a christian me being a christian has learned you make anything taboo it's going to make me want to do it even more yeah so Fuck it. i want black sheep now <laughs> If I have a phone, I want, yeah. I want, I want, I want, I want a hermaphrodite Santa Claus. That's why we find transgenders yeah. on my Tinder now. <laughs> <laughs> we're also going to be, where else are they going to be, Ben? But like, in my pants. No, no, no. I was never. reading this before I came, right? And I found ooh, a whole ooh. bunch of them. Yeah, I did my research Fuck today, yeah, guys. I love, I love oh, I did it. I was like, yeah. I need some, I need some. Uh, so, ready? Jack and Jill, right? Re listen to this. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill made it to his side and did her best to tend his injuries and eventually called an ambulance so he could be treated by professionals rather than fall down after him due to some illogical and outdated notion about women being subservient to men and following their league, regardless <laughs> of how unwise it may seem. Like, 
what the hell? <laughs> it doesn't rhyme for one, yeah, no. and it just keeps getting worse. That, you know what? That's also like, that technically is also sexist in that explanation. Thinking yeah. that thinking that Jill followed Jack. Perhaps it's maybe the surface of the hill, and to which Jack's the first one to fall. Jill maybe didn't even notice it, and then exactly. she finds that it's slippery, and she falls afterwards because she just so happens to stand in the same spot he spe- he stepped in and slides. Yeah. Like it's, that's it's, you, if you want to break this shit down, we can break this down scientifically for well, you. Well, like a lot of a lot of this stuff is it, it like they they they're, get, they're getting very illogical with a lot of it and, and it's Yeah. And it's yeah. Okay, Mary Mary quite contrary. How does your garden grow with a carefully planned system of fertilization, soil maintenance and several other tried and tested agricultural techniques used by professional gardeners? I have no idea what the What, actual what article what, what what website are you reading this from? Um the it, Guardian, but it's like really? it's a news news article. Uh, but, 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 but supposedly the best. So, one. so literally, yeah. they've taken I, they've taken a, a nursery rhyme about different types of flowers because that's what it is. How does your garden go with silver bells and cockle shells and something in a row? Yeah, which is another type of flower. So it's three different types of flowers they mention, and instead they're like, no, 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 no. You need to be a pro in order to garden. It's like no gardening is, is something anyone can yeah. do, and probably people should do. <laughs> Heck, mm-hmm. we had a cactus and made it die. So I mean, like, mind you, we left it in this room. For, we like, also kept weeks. on watering it every <laughs> time we came in here. Once a week's fine, isn't it? Yeah, no, it, it's like once a month you're oh, supposed to water it? a cactus. Oh. I found out more. That's why I turned to jelly. It was Oops. overwatered. Well, oh, also well. you're supposed to put them in full sun as well. So. You yeah. are supposed to put them in sun. There yes. was no sun. But he yeah. also crept out of his pot. That little bastard. That happened once. <laughs> yeah, he snapped and like fell out of his roots. He derooted. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. I hate it when I deroot. <laughs> I hate it when I deroot. <laughs> Never deroot. Uh. Mm. But yeah, so it, it's uh, it, that that also reminds me of the whole Peter thing where they were trying to do like uh, two birds with one scone. Oh my god, you literally just read what I was reading just then. Oh, what the fuck? The, what yeah, else was it? So you finish your scones thing because what was the other yeah, one? It was like yeah. um, um, bringing home the the bread. Bring home, the, bringing home, bringing home the bacon could be replaced by bringing home the bagels. Don't you dare fucking bring bagels instead of bagels bacon to are, my home. No, bring bagels, both. Yeah, bring both. Bacon on bagels, guys. Bacon bagels bagels with cream cheese Ooh, cream and cheese. onion. Speaking of which, the Bavarian Cafe next to my uh, work is incredible. They do this really delicious breakfast bagel. Oh, yeah. Egg bacon. What are you doing oh. tomorrow? <laughs> no, going to get a bagel, apparently. <laughs> and then flogging a dead horse could have to make way for feed a f- feed, feed a, a fed, fed horse. horse. Which, to be honest, actually kind of does make sense. Like, how frustrating would it be to try and feed a horse? It's like, They'll eat. They'll keep eating. Actually, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. The yeah, and then eating. your one down here is um, hold your horses. People could say hold the phone. People no, I'm say pretty that. Sure people pretty say people that. Would say that is the same. People would say um, both anyway. All your horses. eggs in one basket. How about all your berries in one bowl? But like hold your horses. The stigma behind that is um, you're being very uh, all over the place, erratic. Yeah, um, just... Why don't you be more stable and hold your horses? That's the thing. It's a behind. Yeah. That's the premise behind it's that. How pun. good is that? Yeah. Just be more stable. Why? Yeah. How? Hold your horses. <laughs> That's a good one. Double jump. And right then there. what's the last one? <laughs> feeding two birds, uh, uh, and, and killing two birds with one stone. Would like be feeding just... feeding two birds with one scone. But except... I've never said it killed two birds. I've just said two birds with one stone. Except like it's never. I always except say killing bread two birds with one products stone. are really bad for birds, and it kills are you them. Exactly. Kill them. <laughs> so, so, so you're doing nothing better. You might as well just hit them with a rock. Yeah, just kill them. Don't feed them. Bread. And it, and and it'll be a lit trick to show your friends. I mean, I I mean, I'm a vegetarian. If someone threw one rock and killed two birds with it, I'd be like. Dude, wow. I'd be like, all right. <laughs> if, you, if they really wanted to now change it, they'd take the animals. <laughs> yeah, don't let them waste. <laughs> no, if, if, if they really wanted to change it, they'd take the animals out of the entire equation. So rather than like two birds with one stone, it'd be like two targets with one arrow. Yeah, there or, you go. Or um, That promotes violence. I don't like that. Yeah, no. It's oh, everything promotes like give something. G- give me another one. Um, two social justice warriors with one. Oh, gun. instead of instead of uh, <laughs> instead of hold, two inst- students with one AR. <laughs> instead of uh, hold, hold your horses, be like uh, hold your paperwork or something like that. 
be like a paperclip and hold your paper. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of I just think the like these are really old. I find that offensive to blue of collar workers. Old sayings. They've been going around for, for forever. Forever. And it, it's not going to matter. It's not as if we're actually going to kill two birds with one stone. Like, uh, well, my, well, maybe you will, but nah, psych- uh, not people who aren't Bryce. psychopaths. <laughs> <Where is laughs> my, my, favorite, my favorite thing about uh, this whole contra- controversy and shit through Peter, though, is that it wasn't just um, like your regular meat eaters was also vegetarians and even vegans who were just like, no. Yeah, well, that's... You're just like, this is bullshit. I I don't know a single vegetarian or vegan that would want to change any of this. I do. I spoke about this when I was last here. And I have a friend who's very avidly... (gasps) I do remember Vegan. this. Remember? Yes. And I, I actually watched that episode on Thursday. <laughs> Tash in the comments. Yeah, go f- fuck yourself, Peter. <laughs> go fuck yourself, Peter. Hey, Ethan, Ethan. I Ethan. mean, they do hey, good Pe- things. Pe- Peter, 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 yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Peter. Fuck you, Peter. Hey, Peter, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Peter, go fuck yourself. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Yeah, fuck, fuck you. Peter.